Hey everyone, this is Mary with True Digital, and today I'm going to go over the steps that you'll take to install and edit a vertical template, as well as how you can use horizontal templates for your vertical display. And starting from your dashboard, which is where you should be brought to as soon as you log in, we're going to start at Manage Playlist on this left hand side. So now I can see all of the playlists that I manage. And today I am working with my vertical playlist. But before we get started, you will want to confirm here on your Manage Playlist screen that if your player is meant to be used on a vertical display, you'll want to see that this orientation is showing as vertical next to the player. If you don't see this showing as vertical and it's showing as horizontal, please give us a call and we can get that corrected to ensure that your player has the vertical template library. So now I'm just going to get into editing my playlist. So to do that, I'll start with edit playlist next to my vertical playlist. And now here on the left, I can see my live playlist, which is currently what's set to display. And then I have my templates tab, which are the templates that I currently have installed, which I only have this full screen slideshow installed at the moment. And for now, I just want to go over installing and editing a new template. So to do that, I need to install a new template by going to the template library. And this is going to bring up all of the templates that are available to you to install and add to your display. So now as you go through your template library, you'll notice that some of these do have a V next to it. And that V is just letting you know that that template was created for a vertical display. For now though, I'm just going to install this weather integration to add to my vertical display. And to do that, I'll just click on that integration and select install. Once the template does install, you'll be brought back to your My Templates tab. And now you'll be able to customize this template so that it's displaying the content that you want. So for my weather one, I want to make sure that it's showing the correct zip code that I want to show the weather for. So to confirm and edit that, I'll click on the integration and select edit. And now I can see my preview is showing me the weather for Utah. But if I have a player in California and I want to make sure that that display is showing the correct weather, that's where I can do edit template in the top left. And you'll see this box here with the zip code. And I'm just going to click on that. And now here, I can check the use device zip code if I know for sure that I've set the zip code on my player's status page. But for now, I'm just going to edit this by adding the correct zip code that I want it to display. So I'm just going to change this since I want to move it from Utah weather on display to California weather. I'll put that in. And you can confirm how you want that temperature to display as well as any other settings below. Once I've confirmed that zip code change, I will save this. And now I can see it here. If you do want to change this background, you are able to do that just by clicking on this gray block here at the top. But for now, I feel good that I've changed that zip code, so I'm going to save it by hovering over the save changes in the top left and selecting save changes here. Now that that's saved and I've confirmed it's showing the California weather rather than the initial Utah weather, I feel good about this template and it's ready for use. So I'm just going to click on back. And now we're back to the My Templates tab as well as the Live Playlist. And since I've been able to confirm that those changes went through for my weather template, I want to get that added to my Live Playlist. So to do that, I'll just click on Edit under Live Playlist. And this will make it so you can drag and drop anything from your My Templates section over to your live playlist. So I'm just going to grab my weather integration and drag that over to my live playlist. And once I've confirmed that it's showing underneath that, I'm going to save. So now my weather template is in my live playlist and my player will download that shortly. So now those were the steps that you'll take anytime you want to install and edit a new template as well as get it added to your live playlist. The next thing I want to go over is if you want to add a horizontal template to your vertical display. So the first thing that I'm going to do for displaying a horizontal template 
is I'm gonna install any of those horizontal templates that I thought maybe looked good and I want to use within my vertical playlist. So I'm gonna go back into my template library and just going down, if there's one of these specific horizontal ones that I do wanna display, I'm gonna click on that. So first off, I see this clock and I do want that to display on my vertical playlist. So I'm gonna install this clock And now I can see my clock template is there, but there were still a few horizontal templates that I wanted to get added to this vertical playlist. So I'm gonna jump back into my template library again and just scroll down and just trying to find another one that I maybe wanna to add to this vertical playlist. And now I see this date. So I'm going to click and install this one as well. And now I can see my date template also installed. So I see my date and my clock. So now to get these added into my vertical display, I need to get them added to a vertical corkboard, which is a template of its own. So I'm going to go into the template library and install this corkboard. And just to save some time, I'm gonna search corkboard here at the top. And it will bring up most if not all of our horizontal cork boards, which since this is my vertical display, I wanna to scroll to the bottom and find this labeled as vertical three cork board and click on this and install. All right, so now I can see my vertical cork board has installed and I can see my date and clock horizontal templates are showing as well. So I just need to go into my cork board and add those templates. So I will click on my vertical cork board and select edit. And once you see this preview, I will click on edit again in the top left. So now you'll see there are three gray boxes and all three of these are going to give you the capability of adding a horizontal template. So this top one, I'm just going to click on it. And now I can see those two horizontal templates that I did install. So to get this added, I'm just going to click on my clock and select save. And now I'm just going to add my date template to this second block. So I click on my date and save. And now if I had a third horizontal template that I wanted to use, I would do the same thing for this third block to get that added. But for now, I'm just going to add those two that I installed. And now I can see they're showing clock two and date one. So those were the horizontal templates that I installed. So once I've confirmed that, I'm going to save changes by hovering and then click on save changes here. And now I can see my two horizontal templates that I placed are showing here in the preview. Whereas this third block I did leave empty, so the placeholder will show there. So I'll wanna go in after this and find another horizontal template to place there. But for now, I feel good about this, so I'm going to click on back. Now that I've made those changes to my vertical cork board, I need to get this added to my live playlist. So to do that, we'll do what we did earlier with the weather template, and we're going to click on edit under live playlist. And this will make it so you can drag and drop anything from your my templates over to your live playlist. So I'm going to grab my vertical cork board and drag it over to the left. And now I do currently have a full screen slideshow template to start off my live playlist, but it's currently just a placeholder. So I want to remove that from my live playlist. So if you ever need to remove a current template that's playing in your live playlist, you can do that just by hitting the trash bin next to it. And that won't delete the template, that's just going to remove it from your live playlist. So I've confirmed I have my weather template as well as my vertical cork board. So I'm going to save. 
So the last thing that I'm going to do is just confirm that this live playlist looks good for my display. So I'm going to preview this live playlist by clicking on the I next to edit. And here on my preview, I can see that those changes I made to the weather template are showing and that looks good. It's showing my California weather as well as my cork board is displaying those two horizontal templates that I placed. Now again, I left that third horizontal template section open just for the sake of the video, but I would want to go in and add another horizontal template so that that placeholder isn't there. So now that I've confirmed that my preview showed my live playlist looks how I want it to, I can give my player 10 to 15 minutes for it to download those automatic updates. And now the last call out is if in the future I want to make a change to how my clock or my date is displaying on my vertical cork board, I would do so by editing that horizontal template itself, which would then update how it's on display within my vertical cork board. For more information on our digital signage offering or for a complete demo of our platform, contact our team at truedigital.com or 801 609 3465.